The future of the automobile requires collaboration. Arena 2036's campus in Germany is the largest research platform for mobility in the world. Meet Dr. Clemens Ackerman, Deputy Managing Director at Arena 2036 in Stuttgart. We are more fully integrating the vehicle, not just as a means of transportation, but as a space that we use to live in, uh, in, in our lives. We see in China people renting cars not to actually drive them, but to spend time in them, to use them for video conferences, to play uh, to play PlayStation or Nintendo or something like that, to use them as karaoke bars and all of those kinds of things. But when I open the door of my car and I go in, I'm all of a sudden immersed in, in numerous digital worlds, potential digital worlds. And something like that, a thought like that, uh, cannot just occur to one actor, uh, but we have an entire consortium thinking and tinkering. And the network effect comes from the collaboration among the brightest minds in the auto industry all wired together. There are multiple layers of network connectivity in the auto industry. We've got network technologies for the production of the automobile, a separate networking technology takes over once the vehicle rolls off the assembly line, and networking between vehicles on the road promises to be as big a leap in safety as the seatbelt was in 1958 when Saab introduced them as standard equipment. Once a vehicle is in the hands of a motorist, what role does 5G play? Uh, 5G starts playing a role even before the rollout of the, of the vehicle. Um, what we are currently doing a lot here is indoor autonomous driving. So as soon as a car has tires and can walk, has a CPU and can think to, th to a certain extent and has sensors so it can see, um, we said there is no reason to put it on an AGV or to have large robotic uh, lines where the car can be taken from job to job, why is it not driving there by itself? 